and hello! I am Ultimate Wolfie, and this is my first commentary. It's not my first attempt. I failed several times trying to do this stuff. Several. I've only really completed Bioshock one time on easy. And anything other than easy will probably be near impossible and I'm going to die a lot. So, um, I'm going to do medium because I'm not crazy enough to play anything higher because it would just be die, try and run, die, die, that would be like die a little bit of um, progress then die again. So, medium is probably the best bet. So it isn't too um, easy, but yeah, this this is gonna turn out bad, even with medium. <laughs> that was fire on that water. Nineteen sixty, Mid Atlantic. They told me, Son, you're special. In the head, born to do great things. In the head, you know what? They were right. Everybody screams. We're dead. Ah. Yay! Fire shock. So wet. Mm. And it's the end of the game. We're dead. We're drowning. We're not going to make it up to the surface. And there's a shoe. I want that shoe. I want that necklace. I want that necklace. Um, that could have been bad if we were in the wrong place. We could have gotten chopped up by the propeller. And there goes everybody else that's dead. That nice stewardess that gave us that extra pack of peanuts. <sighs> Goodbye, stewardess. All this fire on the water, and I can't go in any further into it. I want to burn. I'm lost. No, I'm not. Okay. Well, isn't this a lovely night to uh, survive a plane crash? Yeah. Real nice. Yeah. Look at that fire. Oh, yeah. If I somehow get out of this, I am writing a very nasty review about your airline, sir. Swimming. It's kind of convenient that we kind of crash next to this. Hmm. Wow, it's just pitch black out there. I wonder if that's how it's really like. Just like, oh, well, you just survived a crash. And it's just pitch black everywhere else but the moon and the fire. And the lights. This is the part where if I had somehow survived miraculously right next to a lighthouse, I would just kind of just sit here and just be like uh, you gotta be kidding me where am I supposed to go? no land that I can see is there? is there any land? no nope. that's just a weird shadow I think cause I don't think mountains can go that high that I know it's just like 
can't see any land. What's the point? I should have drowned. And we're just gonna go into this building that coincidentally has its door open. Yeah, let's just go in here. And... Did they actually in 1960 have automatic doors and automatic lights? That seems a little high tech. No gods or kings, only man. That's prejudice. Kings are man too. They're just more entitled. Mm. Yeah, parasites. Uh, as it something? Who knows? They need to get more lights up in this place. Huh. Keep forgetting triangle is jump. Jump. Wow. Those two faces always freak me out. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Industry is just basically two hands shaking with a bunch of gears around. And science is lightning bolts going into that. Science is what made this. I don't know. I mean, if I actually survived a plane crash, or actually next to a lighthouse that coincidentally is unlocked with a door open, just to invite me to come in, and then I come down here and I see this, I don't know if I would actually be able to burn myself to pull the lever. I mean, it's just like, where is it going to go? Down. I just barely escaped a watery death. And now I'm going right back into the water. It makes absolute sense. Not really. Ten fathoms. There's a dude. That was an actual dude just covered in steel. I feel bad for him. Louie! I can't jump. Oh, here are your fingertips. I am Andrew Ryan, and Hi. I'm here to ask you a question. Okay. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? Sure. No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Obviously. Said, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. You I chose the stupid. Rapture. Wow. That is so climactic. Where the artist and that's would not squid. Where the scientists would not be bound by petty morality. Where the great mm. would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow. Rapture Another dude can case become your steel. city as well. Um. Well, with barnacles. Yeah, I will. Yay. Yep, yep. Yep. A plane flying a little bit? Creeping? Oh, you said? No. Jeez. Yeah, you got company. Hi, I'm home. It was not possible to build a rapture at the bottom of the sea. It was impossible to build it anywhere else. I'm sure that's a lie. Andrew Ryan reminds us we all make choices, but in the end, our choices make us. Yay!
This city is now built with concrete stone. It is built with ideas. You idealists.